Excuse me. Afternoon, everybody. Happy Thursday. Happy Earth Day. I hope you're having fun. Well, in celebration of Earth Day, today we're going to work with clay. And this is what we're going to be making, a nice little llama clay plaque. Isn't that just the cutest fun? And you can paint it any way you want. Remember, you can always come and get some clay kits to make some of these at home, and they're not hard to do. Now, tomorrow I had talked about doing, for tomorrow, the uh, bottle cap uh, plaque, but I think it's going to be a little hard to do and having to do choose all the colors. So instead, we're doing a little fancy uh, cat plaque. It can be a tile. It can be a plate. It can be a canvas. It can be anything you want. You can even do it on the decline that right now. Sorry about that, folks. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn this around so that you can see the setup. Where am I here? Okay. As you can see, I have put two pencils over here. And um, that, at home, if you're gonna be rolling clay, this is really, really, really uh, fun to do. Uh, an easy way for you to, um, to work your clay. So you have some clay and I have my little stick and I'm not gonna need all of this clay here so I am going to cut some off. Actually, I can probably just tear some of it off. There we go. Okay, let's see. Now, I have this here, and I am going to roll it out, and I want it, if it gets to be too much, and I will take some out here, do this, and I will, don't want it as, no more thick than this uh, particular uh, pencil, so that's why I made that. Everybody can see clearly, I hope. So I'm gonna start rolling, 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 rolling. Keep those prices rolling right. I know some of you are much too young to understand what this song is all about. It used to be an old cowboy show when I was a child. Your parents or grandparents might know about it. But anyway, you just kind of roll, 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 roll. And I keep rolling. Actually, I probably roll better if I'm standing, but that's okay. I like to turn it around when I do this as well. It gives us a better chance. When you get to the pencils, you know that you've got the correct height. Am I touching the pencils? Just about. And right over here is my little patterns. So if you purchase a kit, you get the pattern as such here. I did make it a little bit bigger because I wanted to make the plaque a little bit bigger and what they did was smaller. We're almost there, Woohoo! And I turn it around, I think one more go and we'll be good. Yeah, see, I'm touching the pencils. So this is the perfect thickness right now. Okay. If you notice when I use the canvas, it leaves an imprint on there. If you're gonna do this at home, I would advise using newspaper or, um, let's see, what else? Newspaper, if you've got a piece of canvas at home, that works well. Wax paper, um, maybe foil, but I think wax paper would be better. I'm seeing here on my computer that we're having internet issues, so it may be a bit before you can see the actual project. So I'm doing this kind of by ear. So now I've done this, I got my thing. Take the pencils out of the way. Oh, I'm seeing it now. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take this pattern and I'm gonna put it here. Okay. Now I'm gonna press it down. Actually, I can do this if I want to. Oh, it's not gonna work, because I used it once before. When you use these little skewers, always use your skewers straight when you do it. It, it's easier to, oops. The one had a little chart. It makes a nicer cut if you do it straight like this. Okay. And then I will come here. And I will do this. Okay. 
Okay, so I got his face here. Take this extra clay and I'm going to put it back in my bag so that it doesn't dry out. Now this was a project I had set aside, a different project for a customer, and the clay's been in here for about a week and it's still really nice and moist. So that makes me feel real good that it lasts long. Now we have a nose that we have to do. So again, straight, straight, and around. Now one of the things you can do so the paper doesn't tear, you can turn your, your uh, little skewer around and just make lines for your face. Okay. Then take the nose out. And then the ears. I'm gonna do one ear, because our llama has two ears. Gonna do it this way, gonna do it this way, and gonna do it this way. Actually, I could do it the same way this way and then just flip it around, but if I wanna be a little smarty poo, I can turn this around. Do it this way, take the extra clay off of here. Actually, when you have clay like that, you can pick it up. And then you can go around and you can cut this ear out as well. Okay, so I have two ears and, whoops, let go, let go my ego, and extra clay. Extra clay, done and go in the bag so that it does not dry out. And it's a Ziploc bag. It really works out good. But like I said, if you want to come in and purchase this project, it is $20, and that will include everything. There's clay in the zip here. Okay, so now I'm going to take my little sponge and I'm going to clean around because I don't want all those sharp pieces on there because those sharp pieces are going to be there when I fire and I don't like sharp pieces. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this and now I have this ear that's nice and smooth. And then I have this other ear here that needs to have the same thing done. Same loving care over here. I am thinking for those who are watching of doing a soft opening next week. And what does soft opening mean? It means that every other table would be available. Not all tables would be opened so that we can keep social distancing. And also, I would ask if you have a mask to please wear your mask. It would be very nice of you to do so. And it would be open to groups of five, no more than five per groups. So with the governor's decision tomorrow of what's going to happen, if he approves it, then I will be doing a soft um, opening. I'm going to clean this up. And I like to make sure my things don't blow in the kiln, so I'm gonna show you a little trick here in just a moment. I'm gonna perform a little bit of surgery. Now in the actual designs, they made the holes over here to hang. I made the holes in the ears instead. So it's up to you to decide what you want to do, okay? You can make them here or you can make them in the ears. I just thought it was cute to have it in the ears. Take this extra clay here and it helps pick up the extra clay so it doesn't get all embedded. And I'm going to clean the back side. Okay. And this is something that if you want to, um, I have some special clay. Uh, actually, when you pick up the kit, you can take the colors that you want and when it's good and dry, you can paint it. The only thing you have to remember, A, it's very fragile. Two, you only want to paint one side. If you paint both sides with this paint, what's going to happen, it can blow up in the kiln, and that is not something we want to happen. 
So I know that I want to put my nose here. So I'm going to do a little plastic surgery here. I'm going to make two holes. And here we go. This way, because this is thicker, it'll breathe and it won't have a chance of uh, blowing up. Now, earlier I was telling you about my toothbrush. I use a toothbrush to score, not score goal, but to score my pottery. And I know that I only need to do it on one side. So I can apply my nose. Now what I can do here is I can turn around and I can smooth the edges, okay? Now with my little skewer over here, I'm gonna do some little eyes. Oh, and I'm gonna do some eyelashes. It's just too cute. Llamas have these funky eyelashes. Look at that. And I like to take things and turn them around because it's easier. If you ever learn how to make real eyes, that's what you do. You have them on one side and then you turn and do it on the other side. It just makes it easier. So now we have eyes, woo hoo hoo. So here I can turn around and I can make this a little bit bigger. Okay, now we have the ears. Same thing with the ears. A little bit will do you here, and then you're gonna push them in, and you're gonna make them become part of your piece. I'm gonna do this one as well. Okay, so now we got ears, okay? This one's not quite on the side, but that's okay, it can do it. So now I can either make my holes here to hold it, actually I would do it after, or I can do here. If you see, I just put it, in, I just did that and I put my hand behind it because there's extra little pieces that come out of clay when you do so. Actually, just before I set it aside to, uh, to dry, I kind of curled up the ears a little bit so they'd be funky. You can do this if you want to. Now, the other part's very easy. We've all done this with um, Play-Doh and things like that and clay and take little pieces and I'm gonna roll them, roll them, roll them, okay? And I'm gonna set them, they, they don't have to be long. Some of them can be short. Okay, and I'm just gonna put them like this right now to see where I want it. This one might be curled up a little bit because the eye is there. I probably should have put the nose a little lower. So I'm gonna do this here. Oh, this one's a longer one, look at that. Actually, this clay is still very moist, so I can just make it part of it, okay? Gonna do this one. Actually, if you notice on this one, I actually also did some little curls on top because to me, they have those little curls in their hair. Okay. This one I'm gonna make long for now and you'll see why in a second. Yeah, just tore a little piece of clay. This one's a little shorter and guess what? This one's gonna be a little curly one, a little curly cute one. How about that? Not just the cutest. Now, if you choose to purchase one of these kits, one of the things that I would recommend very much before you paint it is let it dry sitting flat like this till it turns white. When it turns, well, kind of beigey. When it does, you have to be careful. At that point, it's very fragile. So you can eat it, put either eat it, ha, ha either put it in a box like a shoe box and bring it back to me and we'll fire it right away, and then you can paint it, or you can paint it when it's uh, in the clay. But again, like I said, you have to be very careful. You don't want it to break. I'm gonna have some here, little curly Q here. I like curly Qs. Don't know why. But I just do. Look at that. I'll make tiny ones here. Take this and I'll just turn it around. And here's a little curly cue. Plus, it hides 
where I started um, the piece over here. And all of the hair can be different lengths. It doesn't have to be the same. Now this is his nose and so forth. I know I guess it is his mouth here. You can make it a little bit bigger. I think I made it a little bit bigger on mine. I went like this and like this. It gives it a cute little smile. Uh, let's see. This one's a little long. This one's a nice one for a curly Q. Here's another one there. Who would like this would be Miss Katie. She would really like this because she used to work with llamas. Miss Katie used to work for me a while back. And actually, she still has some things here she needs to come by and pick up. So hopefully we'll see her soon. There's no right, there's no wrong. You can do it whichever way that you did. I really didn't use as much my creativity as this as I should have. I just used the same colors that they used. Oh my God, they look like little snails. Here's another one. Oh, one of the things I forgot is the ears. Over here, before I do that, I will take and very slightly indent. So when I paint it, I have a spot that I can see where the ears are. How's that? You don't want to go too deep because you don't want to cut all the way to the bottom. Okay. So I just posted online a few minutes, well, about 10 minutes ago, just before the class started, I posted online the uh, picture of the piece we're going to do tomorrow. Here. Remember, their hair aren't straight. Uh, somebody was telling me they went to a llama race in Arizona several years ago. They actually showed us a picture. And the llamas, it's a different breed of llamas, had almost like dread, dreads, uh, hair dreads coming down. It was very sweet. And they made them dress up like old time uh, with like bonnets on, cloth bonnets. It was really a lot of fun to see. I think I have a picture of a llama planter on the, um, on my web, on the Facebook page and web, 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 web uh, page as well. And the llama's got a striped blanket on it. And that's basically how they were done. They almost looked like they were wearing old fashioned type of bathing suit with the top puffy and the, and the legs, a real old one from the twenties. It was a lot of fun. And actually the llama races, they walked them. They didn't really uh, get on the llamas and race them. They were gentle with them. So I've just about got his hair completed. And now I just need to finish his little twirls. Look at that. He's got hair. She's got hair. Now I'm going to roll this thin. I can cut it in half and make twirlies. And if you're not sure if it's going to stick, remember we have our toothbrush over here with water. You make sure that you do tap it like this, you don't want it to be soaking wet. So you would just turn around and do the little twirl. You would scrub it and then you would put it down like this. There we go. And some more. So please tell me some of the things that you've been doing for um, Earth Day. I would love to see, you know, some of the things. Did you plant a tree? Did you plant flowers? Did you trim a tree? 
Um, did you go to the beach and collect seashells? Since we're allowed to go to the beach now. This is a little one, it looks like a little seashell. But you see by doing the curly cues this way, it uh, hides the other part that was there. And it kind of makes it look a little sweeter than, than just hanging down in a bang. Because if you look at the picture that they had at the beginning, see all the bangs are hanging down. Oh, one of the things you may want to do is you take your pencil and come in here and do a, maybe do it even with your, your little pinky. Come in here and do his cheeks. Yeah, the pinky works better. So now you can do its cheeks. This one here, I think one more might just suffice. I wanna thank everybody that has um, joined us on the video live or we'll see it later on. We really appreciate it. I try to make put a lot of effort in here and try to keep you occupied. So, see how I pick up extra clay? I don't wanna play with it too much because if I do, um, it'll start drying. And the reason is, a little quick science lesson. Um, our body is about 70% uh, water, 70, 75%, so it's always thirsty. The clay is wet. Our hands absorb the water. So um, if you start playing with it, you'll see it'll start getting really, really dry and really brittle. And then what happens is you can't do any of these little twirls or things like that because they just tend to break. So now we have our little llama. One of the things that I like to do, I carefully turn it over and see, I make sure that my little nostrils are still open, is I always want to sign my piece and I put Mimi and I always like to see the year. And then later on in years, you know, whoever you gave this to will look at it and go, oh my God, look, she was 20 when she did this, or she was eight when she did this. So you can have fun with it, play with the ears the way you want them. And when you're happy with it, just leave it alone. I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you tomorrow for our um, cat uh, tile. Have an awesome day. Check you out later. Bye, everyone.